video vocabulary list number four is greetings and responses. We've got a bunch of signs on this list. So what's up is the first one. You want two five hand shapes with the middle finger just forward a little bit, okay, like that. The palm orientation is going to actually, palms are gonna face you and the location is right here. You'll be touching just pecs, okay? So start here and then you come up. So what's up? The non-manual sign or the expression for this is going to be kind of what your voice does in English. What's up? You know, kind of a um, expression. All right, nothing is two O hand shapes back and forth. Your palms are face out, movements from the wrist. Nothing. What's up? Nothing. Same old, like same old thing, oh, just the usual kind of thing is gonna be two hand shapes with all, uh, let's see, your middle fingers down and your thumb and your pinky out. Okay, so like this. Palms will face down. And you just do opposite motions, out and back in little circles, okay? Your expression will be kind of like this one. Same old thing, oh, the usual. How are you or how are you? So for this sign, it, it goes pretty fast. <laughs> so you want both of your hands kind of just hanging. That's your hand shape like that with your uh, kind of your knuckles touching. Okay. Again, it's just kind of right here in front of you. Shoulders relaxed, elbows relaxed. Okay. It's going to roll. The movement is going to roll. So what happens is your palms start down like that. Then if you're, if you're looking at it, as it rolls, you see, you end up seeing your palm. So that's how are you? And it kind of just rolls all together. How are you? How are you? Okay. Good can be signed two ways, um, one-handed or two-handed. So uh, with the two-handed version, both hands are, palms are facing you, closed five hand shape. Okay. Your dominant hand will start near your mouth, chin-ish. It can touch, doesn't have to. Bring it down and hit the next one. Good, good. Can also be one-handed with, with your supporting hand not being used, right? Just your dominant hand. Good. Bad is very similar. Can be signed two ways, either with two hands or one. If you sign it with two hands, your supporting hand, your non-dominant hand, will do the same thing that it did for good. Remember, it just kind of was, you know, the landing spot, right? For bad, you start the same way, but you change your palm as it comes down. Bad, bad, bad. And you want kind of a bad look on your face, right? If you sign it uh, with one hand, it's the same thing, just with one hand. Scoop my chair up a little bit. Okay. Uh, fine is a five hand shape with your palms sideways and your thumb is going to hit your chest. That's the location and the movement. Fine. Bored, a one hand shape, side of your nose, twist and come out. It doesn't have to come out. You can leave it on your nose or it can come out. Bored, bored, boring, same thing. And again, you're not gonna want like a super excited facial expression for bored. You'll wanna be bored. Okay, busy. So your supporting hand, your non-dominant hand can either be just kind of flat like this with your palms down, or it can be a fist. Either way is fine. Busy is like a four with your fingers closed back and forth. Busy, busy, or busy. All right, confused. So if you think about it this way, confused is when your thinking is like everywhere crazy, right? So you start with think. So it's a number one hand shape at your temple, think. And then 
You want two five hand shapes that are bent and they're kind of just everywhere. Yeah, confused. Confused. Again, you got to have the facial expression. You can't be like confused. Okay. Uh, so yeah, your, your motion is kind of one goes clockwise, one goes counterclockwise. Confused. Okay. Happy. Happy can be signed one handed or two handed as well. Either way, you want a, like a flat, a five, a flat handshake, a five that's closed. Okay. So you can either do it one handed or two handed. Happy. Sad will be two five hand chips with your palms facing you. They're kind of, they're not really even, like they're a little askew. And then you're going, basically for this sign, your face drops, right? So you're pulling your face down. Sad. And you cannot, again, you cannot sign, because <laughs> that's not real. You have to be sad. You also can't sign, because that makes no sense. Sad. All right. Excited. So you remember the what's up sign? It's, it starts almost the same way. So you've got the, the five with the middle fingers forward a little bit, fingers on the pecs, but instead of coming up once at the same time, like what's up, instead of that, you touch alternately and back and forth. Like, woo, excited. Okay. Tired will be um, closed, you know, a flat hand shape here again on bent in half on your pecs again and you're going to droop <laughs> for tired tired your hands just kind of roll down a little bit your fingers okay sleepy just kind of like tired you want this is just one-handed a five hand shape that then is going to close okay so it starts with a five and then it closes all right but you're gonna bring, bring your uh, expression down with it. You're like, like sleepy would, would do, like eyes closed, so sleepy. Angry or mad is a five hand shape that's bent again, like a claw hand shape. And you just kind of bring it out from your face and you bend your fingers a little bit, mad. And again, you gotta have the mad expression. That's the non-manual sign. It's part of the sign. Otherwise it's wrong and it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> mad. You can also see it um, this way sometimes too. Mad, mad, mad. Sick. Again, that um, the five with the middle finger out handshape, the what's up handshape. You want one on your, for sick. One on your head, one on your stomach. Sick. Sick. Um, I don't know how much it matters which your, where your dominant hand is. My dominant hand's on my forehead. So that's sick. And again, you don't want to be happy about being sick. You want to, or kind of something like that. All right, scared or afraid. So you're going to start with fists, okay? Have your palms facing you. Location is kind of just out here in front of you. Then to, to sign scared or afraid, you let your fingers go. Scared. Now you need to make sure you have a scared expression too or whatever, something scared. All right, the sign for expression is two one hand shapes bent, so like that. And these actually represent your eyebrows. And so you put them near your face, near your eyebrows, and you go back and forth. That's expression. So, so. So if I ask you, how are you? And you say, so, so. Or you might want to call it meh, something like that. It's a five hand shape with your palm facing down and you just teeter it back and forth. Movement from the wrist. And you're going to want to have kind of an, a, a, an expression like this. Or meh, so, so. Mm, meh. All right, that is vocabulary list number four.